What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with a new series. I'm here today playing Traveler's Rest. This game has been out since, I want to say, 2020. It's 2023. It's been three, almost four years since this game dropped. And I keep seeing the devs making great content, adding to this game. It is like a in, like an in brewery kind of simulator with our management sim type game and I'm just I keep watching it and I'm like why don't I just freaking crack it open for a series something a little different on the channel older game revisiting it after many updates it looks great so let's jump right in uh new playthrough oh I didn't know that there was gonna be oh yeah that that probably looks like me let's give him dark eyes nose I got a pretty boring nose my I just have a basic nose uh, beard. I'm a mustache kind of guy myself. I would either be like, like maybe this or this. I think we're going with just the mustache because it goes kind of hard. I got long hair right now. I kind of rock a middle part. Usually I maybe bun it in the back, but we can work with this. I got black hair or essentially black. Oh, 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 shirt, shirt, shirt. You know, if I was running it in, I feel like I would dress a little collar peeking out and the trousers. So throw on some blue jeans. And maybe some nice black shoes, huh? That is a man. What is this? Oh, is this the name of the place? Okay, one. My dude's name will be Big Blue Bug, and it will be, uh... Bug... In. Like, buggin'? You're buggin'? Or bug... It, or the bug in? Get it? Get it? I think it's kind of a nice play on words there. Uh... Except... This is our in! So, just so you guys know, I haven't played yet. I've watched... A good handful of gameplay haven't played it so I think I should be able to get the gist but just know I'm definitely a little new uh, welcome to travelers rest the game is currently in early access which means it is still being developed based on your feedback if you enjoy your time please consider leaving a review to support this indie project thank you uh, Wazda left shift to run beat enter decoration mode right off the back let's enter decoration mode while in decoration mode, you can you can place items. Okay, good to know. Uh, move it with the mouse and press E to place it. That's kind of odd. I can't just, oh, you can't just place it, okay. Uh, you can rotate with, okay. You seem good there. Customers will expect their table to be well lit in the evening. Try placing candles. Uh, candles are consumed over the course of days, so you will need to replace them. In furniture. Okay, customer. Okay. Customers will also uh, expect their table to be well lit in the evening. Try placing a. Okay, you want me to place it right now? Exit decoration mode. Uh, get close to the book on the bar and press E to open stock. Wait, get closer to the... Oh, okay, that was just an odd angle there. Storing food here will add it to your uh, bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards small amounts of money and experience. Uh, press O to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Maybe uh, remember to exit deck. You have a quest. Press H to view it. Let's see, five customers. We got some stools and a little table. Perfect. Cool. Are we open? Pressing go again. We'll f oh, okay. Well, let's stay open. Oh, oh, oh. Gruel, anyone? 
A customer has an item request has requested an item. Move closer to the customer and press E to serve them. Remember that the decoration mode must be deactivated. Okay. Wow, this dude's happy to eat gruel. Kind of brutal. Kind of brutal. What a lovely clean tavern. Cellar. Oh, more people want gruel. Sorry, I was just checking out the rest of the place. My bad. Woo! We got more tables and chairs. Uh, close up the tavern and you can place your new items. Call last call by pressing O. This will prevent new customers from entering the tavern. Large items such as tables and benches cannot be placed while the tavern's open. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Our first table. She was fine. Oh. Set up a table using your new items. Okay. Enter decoration mode. Open your tavern to serve customers. Complete more quests to unlock new upgrades. Hey, just want me to open again? Sure. Let's keep these people coming. I got more candles in case it gets a little too dark. I think that's 8 a.m., not p.m. So why do I... I don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, set up tables using your new items. Decorate the mouse wheel. Press F. Okay. Hello. Gruel, anyone? I wonder if I should have been a farmer like my dad. You know, sometimes I wonder that while running this little tavern. Just being a little, just being a little side attraction to people's longer trips. I, I can just keep clicking E. So, I'm really excited for this. Can I just say, I've been watching gameplay of this game and man, does it look fun. I'm just, I've, uh, rewards, survey gruels, a grog. Keg watered down booze and porridge. 20 porridge. I'll take 20 porridge. You can now serve porridge and grog. Press E on the. Okay. So do I just drop them in there? How would I. Oh, I'm pressing the tap. Press Q near the beer tap to add the grog. Uh, a table has some dirty has become dirty. Press E on the table to clean it. Okay. Excuse me, my sweet, sweet people. How is your food? How is everything? Delish, I hope. I kind of look like Mario. Do I look like Mario in real life? No. Maybe. No. One of your customers has dirtied the floor. Uh, press V to highlight dirt. V. Uh, tavern vision will highlight important objects such as dirty uh, tables, floor dirt, and important customers. Uh, clean the floor by selecting the mop and pressing F on the stain. Okay. You gotta hold it down. How's the grog? Good. Do you want porridge? Uh, move next to the beer tab and pr press and hold E to pull a beer. Hello, do you mind if I sit down with you, miss? Kidding. I got more important things to do than sit down with, you know, some normal boring guest. Move, 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 move. I got a whole bar to maintain.
I'll be honest, I clicked E like three times there. Do I need to be behind the counter to serve these people? Look at how busy we're getting. This is awesome. Clean, clean, clean. Our first day of business. Serve five bowls of porridge. Serve three mugs of grog. Eat up, my sweet children. Old doormat. How are we doing? Let's just serve those last three things with Grog and then we can see what's going on in the world, right? So this game, although, you know, I'm in a tavern right now, is much bigger than just this tavern. You can explore the world, you can star do it up, you can grow a farm, you can, you know, make new recipes, you can grow this, you can add, like, apartments upstairs, which is so cool. Just the options are, like, really, uh... It just seems like it's really, uh... A lot of, uh, lot of freedom to kind of play how you want, which I personally am very excited to dive into. It just, there's so much to it. I got an axe. You have obtained a copper axe. Close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance uh, the uh, your quest and gain new technology. One moment. All right, I guess we'll do last call. I wonder if I should have been a farmer like my dad. You know, someone else said that recently. I'm not sure who, but I swear I heard somebody else, maybe another customer say they should be a farmer like their dad. All right, hurry up with your porridge. Come on, I'm trying to go, uh, I'm trying to go chop down some trees and add another table in here. Ah! Animals, they're all animals. Thank you. Woo, outside we go. Tree, tree, tree. Go, 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 chop, chop, chop. Tiny tree, I'm not gonna chop a tiny tree. This is like a... Uh, people in the rainforest you can you only chop the big um, okay maybe the rainforest isn't the best example i don't know normal woodcutters you only chop the big trees you leave the little ones so one day they can be big and strong so you can chop those too this is called deforestation always interesting chop 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 Trees, trees, trees. Any more trees over here? I need to chop down five of these suckers. That's some big ore. I'd love to get a piece of that, but sadly I'm chopping trees instead. Yep, come on down. Okay, we unlocked a sawmill and a copper scythe. You have obtained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Remember that you won't be able to use it uh, if decoration mode is enabled. After building the sawmill, exit decoration mode. Get close to it and press E to open this crafting menu. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, come. Okay, I kind of just thought they would just come. Okay, let me grab them. Come with me, but I'm wrong. Uh, I feel like sawmill goes right here. All right, well, one moment. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah! Guys made a mess back here. Better. Where do I want this? I kind of want it, like, over here, kind of. I think this would be a cool spot for it. Oh, so I have to have all this cleared. Okay. I was under the impression that maybe I could have, like, had, you know, like, maybe it's just not usable zone yet. If I have to have it all cleared, I gotta have it all cleared.
Is that too close to the front of the building? Maybe I should move it back a little bit more. I just don't know how easy it is to move these things after they're started, right? Like... Alright, I hope that was a good idea. I don't know. Each crafter has a list of recipes. Uh, these show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe. Okay. I... I guess we just want planks. Each recipe takes time. Uh, once the timer is full, move closer and press E to collect items. Wait, I didn't mean to drop it. Nice. Now we're looking. Now we're looking clear. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So let's walk up to the click E. I already got 15 of them. We got a pickaxe, baby. You have obtained the copper pick. You can use the pick to uh, mine seams and get mine seams and get metals and minerals. Remember, decoration mode must be okay. It tells me that every time. I have a feeling they've probably had a bunch of people be like, "Guys, your game's bugged," <laughs> and they're just in a uh, decorative mode. Guys, like, come on, fix your game. Decorative mode. And you know what? That would probably be me too. So you know what? For those who actually did that, I don't fault you for it. I've done that where I'm playing a game. I'm like, dude, this game's freaking broken. Especially if something's an alpha, I'll just br blame it on it being an alpha. And I'll try and like tell myself it's fine. And talk my talk myself off the cliff of this alpha game having a little bug, but uh, usually it's not a bug, and usually it's just my uh, my cluelessness. Hey, we got metal, baby. You have obtained a smelter and the anvil. Okay, I assume that's going to tell me the same stuff that the other one told me. Let's go ahead and find a good spot for this. Dang. I can't make it even. That drives me nuts. Oh, then it's going right here. I kind of want to give it space. Can I go like that? Maybe one more up? Oh, I can't even do it because that thing's in the... Are you kidding me? This little piece of grass? Bam! At least that gives this nice little space in there. Wooden poles? I don't know if I need wooden poles. I guess we can make a couple of wooden poles. I don't know what I need. I'm clueless. Uh, 
fuel one fuel two. A little bit of that. As that goes, I'm speed running it. Yeah. Get this all moving. I, yeah, as I mentioned, I thought I just picked it all up, but guess not. Uh, the other thing I need to do is, I think, put these on here so I can keep planting trees. It feels like you got to keep planting trees. You don't keep planting trees. You're doing yourself a disservice, right? I need to quit gr clicking on it on the bottom and just clicking like, you know, like here, clicking five and going, boop. Craft five, 10 iron nails. Got it, got it, got it. I don't know how much it costs to make iron nails, but. Oh, I don't have any fuel on this? 15 fuel per iron nail. Got it. Let's get those iron nails done then. Let's go. Can you see the little bit of star dewy in here? Come on, we we get a little we get a little bit of that vibe. Don't don't tell me you don't. Don't lie to me. You get a little bit of the vibe. You get a little bit of the vibe. And I'm not saying that as like uh they took that idea because you know it's just a pixel. Really, I'm saying that because what's pixel art simulation? Every one of them has to be compared to Stardew now. I you know what I'm gonna say it. I wasn't a huge fan of Stardew. I, I just had a tough time getting into it. I don't think the game was bad. I just couldn't. It, I, t I struggled to get into it personally. But uh, Workbench. Uh, crafted in Sawmill. Okay. Uh, I guess right there is fine. Can I move this? Oh, I can make more tables in here. Is that what they want me to make? One second. Craft a small table. Yeah, that's small table. They want a small table, not an individual table. A couple more of those. Okay, what else do I need? A couple more of those. A little bit more nails. Okay, let's get that done, and then we will uh, wrap up this bad boy. Please stop doing that. I'm going to have to get used to not, you know, auto-clicking that. Okay, let's run back up. Go check out the nails. Those should be done. And now I should be able to craft a small table. Let's go. All right, that's taking a little longer than anticipated. Am I gonna have that done tonight? I don't know if I will. I think the game, if I recall right from who I saw play, I believe the game resets at 3 a.m. 3 a.m.? That sounds right to me, so. Okay, that's good. All right, let's run back up. Go check on our table. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? We almost there? Just got halfway there. Good to see. Good to see. I'm going to have so many plant fibers. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it feels like I got a lot. That, that nice man. We're almost there. We're almost there. A 
Come on, I want to get this table done today. There it is, there it is, there it is. Nice! And it rewarded us with... Is that for paper? Paper coasters. You can now unlock your crafting room. When you're ready, close up and head to the northern side tavern. Northern side of the tavern. Northern side. Is this not the northern side? Unlock the crafting room found on the north side of the tavern. Oh, like inside. Is it not here? Oh. I don't have the money. All right, so I need a little bit more money. Is that is that what I just learned? I should go uh, see if I can uh, quickly get the stuff for a couple benches done. It's getting late. Call orders to give your customers a chance to finish their drinks. Okay, well, I don't have any customers, so. If there were any trees, I'd start chopping, but. Here's a couple. Update, you can't chop those. Okay, well. I guess this is a good place as any to wrap it on up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching our first episode of... Oh. Tavern Inn? Uh, 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 uh. Tavern's Rest. i be honest, I had to look it up. But... Thank you guys so much for watching our first episode of Tavern's Rest. I'm going to go head to bed. And tomorrow, next episode, we'll be working on that bench and opening up our uh, very own, uh, like, I guess, safety room? I don't know. I guess crafting room? Select save to override or create a new one. Multiple saves. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you in that next one. Bye.